Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to turn a Rode PSA1 from something that has a cable running out the outside and loads of Velcro strips keeping it in place to something that looks really smooth, slick, and cable managed. Uh, we all love the Rode PSA1, it's super flexible, you can move it in any position uh, and attach most microphones and it'll hold them without drooping. The only thing I really don't like is the cable management. The way, yeah, you're using Velcro straps and running a wire around the outside. Well, with a little bit of soldering, safety goggles, some helping hands, a high quality microphone cable and some connectors from Neutrik, we're gonna make this into an amazing mic boom arm with no visible cables. You might also need some wire strippers and wire cutters as well, so make sure you got those to hand, and that's pretty much most of what you're gonna need for this exercise. Now, the best news is with XLR cables, they're super easy to pull apart and put back together, providing, of course, you have that soldering iron. So if I show you here, this is an XLR cable. This is the end that plugs into the microphone, and I can pull this little bit off like that, just simply unscrews, pull it down, and look at that, and then push as hard as we can. Ah! And there we go, the sleeve comes off, and now you can see the naked XLR connection right there. There it is. And of course I can pull this apart and then you can see the wires that I'm going to be soldering in just a moment. So I'm gonna be taking this all apart, making sure that this is nice and thin and easy, pushing it through the Rode boom arm so it's nicely hidden, and then soldering back together a nice high quality Neutrik XLR connector for my microphone. So let's get started. First of all, we're just gonna tin the soldering iron. Add a little bit of solder to the end, just to keep it nice and clean and functional. Okay, there's the first one gone. Second one gone. There we go. And now we've removed the old connector. And the next step is to thread this through the PSA1, just as we'd like it. So it's running through the internal parts of the PSA1 and no more outside XLR cable, which is absolutely fantastic. So I'm just gonna push this through. Should be pretty easy to thread through. You might need to get some pliers just to pull it through at the midpoint here. So I'm gonna get some needle nose pliers. Give that XLR a big pull to get it through. And it just goes up and over the midpoint here. Give it a little bit of slack before I push it all the way through to the end. The final step now is to do the soldering on the end, get that Neutrik connector and get it looking absolutely fantastic. Now, before you start soldering, you need to get this hood over the wire. You can't get it on after you finish the soldering. So let's do that first. Now, the other really important thing to pay attention to is where were these wires connected? So we've got the ground, the hot, the cold. We need to make sure they line up one, two, three on the XLR connector to the way they are the other end. Now, if you've desoldered apart, then make sure you just resolder it the right way. So write them down, that's the best way. And there we go, that is one resoldered piece of wire at the end of the Rode PSA1. Now all I gotta do is just pop this on, screw this together, and I have a completed cable-managed Rode PSA1. So there you go, an uncable-managed mess of a boom arm with wires running outside and these, uh, these strappy little Velcro thingies uh, with the Rode logo on, which uh, is really nice, but I want my wires inside, if possible, and out of sight. And now, finally, I did it. How about you? Are you gonna do this with a PSA1? Or maybe there's another boom arm you're using. Let me know in the comments down below.